This is Harry Murray with the second part of our report on the tactics used in the spring creeks in the fall. Here we're talking about rising trout, like you see here. These fish are coming up, feeding on either mayflies or midges. That trout that you see is out there picking these off in the middle of the stream. You sneak up on this guy as carefully as you can. Plan to drop your fly a couple feet above him. Let it drift right back over him. Sometime you'll get him and sometime you won't. Now here you're seeing some shots over along the far bank from where I was just fishing to that fish. There's one lying right there. Now what I'm going to do there, he was just sipping off the surface. I'm going to drop a dry fly. Usually it's going to be a betis or an olive at this time of the year because there just isn't that much on the water. But you want to go down to about 6x or 7x, drop your fly about 2 feet above them let it drift right to them when you set the hook on them try to stay below them as best you can so when they're fighting they're fighting the current as well as your leader uh, don't horse them by any means there's no way you're going to learn land these big fish in the spring creeks in the fall on the light leaders if you're trying to now horse let's them. talk about how we fish the spring creeks all across the country in the fall if there is a hatch on. Now, there are not that many hatches that are on. The predominant hatch in the fall is going to be the little blue-winged olive or it's going to be a Tyronomid midge. Now, this is a pretty tough game because you're really going to have to go down to a minimum of a 6x leader on that. If you hit the olives hatching, the little blue-winged olive mayflies, sometimes called the betas, probably the Mr. Rapidan parachute or the parachute olive midge would be a good way to go. If you have them coming up on the true Chironomids, we go to the Mr. Rapidan midge or the Griffith gnat. And sometimes they're feeding on the midges just under the surface. So go to one of these two flies, go off the back end of that right at the bend of the hook with about a two foot dropper of 6x, put a small brassy, about an 18 or 20 brassy there. You could also use um, an SA indicator out in front of that brassy. But those are the ways you go in the spring creeks when you have rising trout in the fall. Again, that could be east, west, north, south, because there are just not that many hatches on in the fall. And you would go to these when you see actually see feeding fish. You wouldn't use these just to blindly cover the water. You'd be much better off using a terrestrial for that.